Welcome back. We've been able to share volumes between two or if we want more containers and we've shown that if even if we uh, stop one container that has the volume that we are sharing the other containers can actually access that volume and modify its contents. Before that we've seen how we can mount volumes between our host machine and our container so we can access and do software development or something like that uh, from our host machine and we can see uh, the changes immediately reflected on the uh, container. In this video we're going to be learning a really interesting uh, feature or command of Docker. So I've actually stopped the containers. Let me bring back the video and just keep it on top. Yeah. So I've actually stopped the, the containers that we ran in the last video, alpha and beta, but I still have them. So if I do docker ps minus a, they're still there. And the command that we wanted to have a look to, at uh, now is docker inspect. So if we do docker help and we scroll up a bit, then we can see docker inspect return low level information on a container or image. What docker inspect does, it gives us a lot of information about our uh, about our image of, or our container. So if I do docker inspect alpha, if you remember that uh, uh, container that we ran in the last video called alpha, and then just pipe it to less so we can have a look at the contents. It looks like a JSON file. It is a JSON file. And it gives us a lot of information about the container, as we mentioned, container ID, when it was created, uh, some arguments, uh, the image ID, the, the base image that uh, the container was, was, was run from, its name, and so on and so forth. If we go down, we can find um, information about volumes. Um, let's just look for mount. Yeah. So there you can see the volume that we were sharing, mounts, that's the one we were sharing, and so on and so forth. So this is a very useful command for debugging. That's for the uh, container. If we have a look, what images do we have? So if you run the same container, for, I'm sorry, the same command, but now for the image, let's say my website, if you remember from the previous videos, then again, we can have uh, similar information, the ID, uh, maybe the parent container, when it was created, and so on and so forth. Right? Really useful stuff for debugging purposes, for finding out more information about our Docker container or Docker image. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll be learning uh, how to make Docker containers communicate via ports. So it will be uh, connecting containers together. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.